In this video, we're going to show you how to basically brighten the eyes, make them pop a little bit more. I downloaded this image from Google. You can find the image yourself, or if you're a photographer, I'm sure you have some. But I found that this image um, actually works out pretty good for what I'm going to show you. As you can see, I have the uh, completed image right here, and I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Basically, that's what I started with, and this is basically the end product. So I'm going to go ahead and basically show you how to do it. Basically, the only thing you're going to have to do, select your image, and you're going to basically, you're going to select uh, exposure from the adjustment layers. And we're going to go over here to exposure, and you're going to go ahead and increase it to 2, and hit enter. Uh, once, you, once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and invert the image, uh, command I on the Mac. It's going to invert it. And of course, you're going to select your brush right here. You're going to paint with white. And uh, for me, the small brush size, the hardness, and I'm going to basically select basically uh, a very soft brush. And I'm going to go ahead and basically just start painting right here. As you can see, just kind of, you can do this to both the eyes and just go back and forth and just go ahead and brighten the part that you want. You're going to go also to gamma correction uh, around basically 0 0.70 to basically to keep some of the detail on the eye. As you can see right here, it's pretty easy. Turn it off. You can see pretty dull. Turn it back on. And basically, you'll get that brightness that you want. Now, if you think, oh, man, this is too bright, you can always, of course, the pass, you can bring it down to the level that you want. You can always bring it down to 50% if you want. And you can see it just makes it pop a little bit more. It just brings it right out. Um, you can zoom out on your image, of course. Make sure that you look at it from a distance. I'm just zooming it in right here so that you can tell the difference from one to another. But make sure that you zoom out and you may take a look at it so that it actually looks natural. You don't want to do it, overdo it too much. If you also find out that the color doesn't match once you created this, you can always change the blend mode to luminosity and it actually might bring back more of a natural color as you can see on this one. It brings it back more, more of a grayish color, blue gray, just the way that it used to be. But it's always up to you. You can always go back to normal, make some more blue of the eye, make some more pop. But again, it's all to your personal choice. Again, adjustment layer, exposure, you bring it to two, camera correction to 0 0.70 paint with the brush and white make sure that you invert the image and that way you can paint with white the area that you want and that's about it keep checking back and i'll go ahead and start adding some more videos on pretty much how to do very simple stuff in a couple of steps